is intentionality. Intentionality means to be purposeful or deliberate. In terms of a supercharged story times, uh, intentionality we are conscious of the connection between early literacy skills and what we do in story times. So we are intentional when we plan our story times, when we deliver them, and also when we, when we reflect on them. As we become more and more intentional, it is easier for us to share this information with parents and caregivers through the use of little early literacy tips during our story time. So intentionality involves identifying early literacy skills and ways to encourage them in our story times, the ones, identifying ones we want to make the connection with, and also being thoughtful about ways we can do that in enjoyable ways with the children and the adults. So there are many ways that uh, intentionality might look. Sometimes there may be no visible difference between what you've done and what you're doing after you are intentional. So for example, perhaps you've always run your finger under the title, the words in the title of a book, like this, In the Small, Small Pond by Denise Fleming. But as you learn more about early literacy, you understand that running your finger under the text helps bring children's attention to the text and that we're reading the text, not the pictures. This will help them later focus on the text as they learn to read. So you haven't done anything differently, but because you recognize the, the connection, you are being intentional. Sometimes with intentionality, you'll just notice a small difference in something that you do. So let's take the song, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And let's say you've been doing it like this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay. Now, after you've learned something about early literacy, you know that songs uh, break down words into parts because there's a distinct note for each syllable. So now when you think of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, you might make you think of the syllables uh, themselves in the song and your motions can reflect that. So it might go like this, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. So you made the syllables a little more pronounced because you've become intentional. Intentionality can also um, have you have a bigger change in what you do in story time. And you might add an activity to something that you already do. So for example, uh, I know now that rhyming is important for children to help them hear the smaller sounds in words, and that's later going to help them sound out words when they learn to read. So I might have this rhyming book, In the Small, Small Pond, by Denise Fleming. And as I read, I would go ahead and read it to them the way I always have. So here's a little excerpt from it, In the Small, Small Pond. Wiggle, jiggle, tadpoles wriggle. Splitter, splatter, minnows scatter. Dabble, dip, tails flip. Good night, sleep tight, small, small pond. Then I might come back to a page and talk about a rhyming word. So for example, here's dabble, dip, tails, flip. So I might say to the children, there are two words on this page that rhyme. See if you can figure that out. Two words that sound alike at the end. Dabble, dip, tails, flip. What rhymes with flip? That's right, dip. Dip and flip rhyme. So let's have a little song about that. Dip, flip, these words rhyme. Dip, flip, these words rhyme. Dip, flip, these words rhyme. Rhyme along with me. What's another word that rhymes with dip? Can you think of another word that rhymes with dip? Lip, that's right. And zip, excellent. Let's try it with dip and lip.
You ready for the song? Dip, lip, these words rhyme. Dip, lip, these words rhyme. Dip, lip, these words rhyme. Rhyme along with me. So as you are actually adding this activity, you're emphasizing something related to early literacy. In this case, the rhyming words and hearing those smaller sounds and words, which is called phonological awareness. So your intentionality led to adding this activity. <laughs>